Just came back from lunch and uh, that doesn't sound too good. And we've got air everywhere, so I don't even know what to do right now. Leave it and see what happens, I guess, but that, <clears throat> that is no good. So I just came back from lunch and uh, that doesn't sound too good. And we've got air everywhere, so I don't even know what to do right now. Leave it and see what happens, I guess, but that, <clears throat> that is no good. I went to grab a burger and I came back and as soon as I walked in the house, I could hear Something sounded off, but with the pump and just being a mechanic and working with pumps all the time, I could hear something was off. So I came in the garage and right away I saw that this was full of air. And then I started thinking about it, like how does that even happen? But I think what happened was the pump died and stopped creating a vacuum. Now this is sealed, we tested this. But what I think happened is all of the air in the resin pot that collects the excess resin. I think it all um, backed up into here. So this is a disappointment for a few reasons. Um, I don't know today's dollar because this is just stuff I had laying around, but there's probably over $500 in material here. You know, we spent a month making this mold to uh, get it to this point, all for my re my vacuum pump to die. Now, that said, the vacuum pump is very, very, very old. It's just very unfortunate that it happened. So, life goes on, I guess. We're gonna see how bad it looks. Maybe it's salvageable. I do have a... Uh, I do have enough resin that I could top coat it um, if we want. So the nice thing about working with this resin is that it uh, can be top coated within 72 hours without being sanded. And I run my garage a little bit cooler than most people would at night. Like it still has a bit of a tack to it. So uh, we'll see, but even just yesterday setting this all up, you know, there's hours of work there that are all just gone. So we'll, we'll say one thing, that resin smells good. Look how stretchy this stuff is. Ugh. It'd be nice if this spiral tube was salvageable, but I don't think it will be. But well, maybe. Actually, that's not too bad. It'll just come down to how much air is in the hood itself. Almost moment of truth, guys. This has been bothering me for close to 24 hours, you know. That was noon yesterday. It's 10, 10 a.m. now.
Oh, this one's on there, good. Holy smokes. I think next time we'll put a bit of a resin break. I can slow the resin down on here so that this doesn't happen. I didn't even think of that. Bit of resin there for sure. It's not hard yet. Anyway, get rid of our fusion mesh here. You know, although I might have enough material to do a wet layup, might not be able to do an infusion, but I might have enough that we can do a wet layup and try this again. I guess the problem is I don't know if I have enough carbon for a wet layup on this and the structure side, but I guess we could do this just for fun. Here's our peel ply. Look too bad under there. So the hood won't be stiff yet. This resin is a very slow resin. So it's 36 hours for full cure. Plus, it's cool in here. It's probably more like 40 hours, but I'm not wanting to wait to see what it looks like after the vacuum pump died. That doesn't look bad. We could top coat that. You know, it's not terrible. Like I said, it's uh, it hasn't hit full cure yet because it hasn't been 36 hours, but it doesn't look too bad. Huh. Interesting. Let me put it over here so I can dry more. Well, it's not great, boys. I'm not even sure it's worth trying to salvage. This whole side has an air pocket all the way down it. I must have tried bridging or something when I was there. But uh, so there's an air pocket down there, air pocket there, another air pocket there, air pocket over here. Another big one here, all the way down this side. This thing's probably scrap, I guess, which is too bad. We're gonna have to redo it. <laughs> 